Hi, my name is Hot Goblin. Let's try this again. Oh my God, this stupid phone. Don't do that. <sighs> Hello, my name is Hot Goblin. I am doing this. I don't know what to say. I'm like freaking out. Hello, my name is Hot Goblin. I... No. Hey, my name is Taylor, AKA Hot Goblin. Uh, I guess this is my official welcome to this bull crap that I'm doing on here now. Um, I actually am very excited, um, but for some reason, my coping mechanism is to just pretend like I hate everything. Um, so we're trying to get out into the world and stop being a little sack of shit. I used to do uh, theater. Um, I was a very fancy sound designer. Yes, I can use Logic Pro. Um, I loved that job. It was super fun. Um, I have my master's degree and everything. Um, but I dedicated some significant part of my career to a theater that ended up shutting down. Um, for a lot of really unsavory reasons. Um, so here I am trying to start my life over and it sucks. Um, I don't have anyone to talk to about it. So I'm going to talk to you guys. Um, that's not necessarily true. I have like a huge support system. I have a ton of friends, um, but everybody's doing their life. Um, and I kind of feel stuck again. I feel like I have to start over. Um, and I hate it a lot. So I just need someone to talk to. So ignore me or don't. I'm going to be doing this anyway. Because I have, uh, I can't just let my life be over now that my, my career seems to have ended. <laughs> um, it feels really shitty. Uh, but I'm really going to try to do this high goblin thing. Which you're probably wondering what that is. Um... It's going to be everything, Mama. Just a little of everything. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to get my shit together, like my coin back up. I have a savings account that is pretty sad for a 31-year-old. But also, like, we're all on our journeys. It's all fine. Um, I'm just very hard on myself. Um, sometimes I might say things that you're like, hey, that's not nice. I know it's not nice. I'm saying it about myself and I have a really shitty self-esteem. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Um, but yeah, I just found this in the garage. Um, and it has my pet, my, uh, my panties in it. Um, and I'm just kind of like taking this as a theatrical moment. Cause everything I have to do, I like, I loved my theater job. Well, let's be honest about that. Like I missed the shit out of it. Um, I just can't do it the way that I used to do it. Um, so I'm trying to do it on my own. Um, but this is like my theatrical way of being like. Hello. Okay, based on. Oh, wait. Is this on? Oh my gosh. Oh, God. It's giving Bo Burnham. Stupid idiot. Oh, here we go. So what you just saw is just like an example of like the 50,000 times that I've tried to start doing this crap that I want to do. But for some reason, so much of my past has made me believe that I need to just shut up and work, shut up and help other stars be stars, shut up and do this. I'm like, I have a little song in my heart too. Um, so I'm gonna sing the song that's in my heart. Not right now, but eventually you'll be like, is that bitch singing a song? And, you'll, and I'll be like, I am, it's from here. <laughs> um, who knows is done. If anybody needed that to be an official announcement, this is it. Um, what a fucking fantastic four years that project was. And this is the last time that I'm going to like really talk about what happened during that time. 
Um, I didn't think I was going to do this, but I, I am. Um, so I hope that this is recording because and I hope this all works out, but let's try to, to put this, let's try to sum this, sum this up without making this like an hour long video. Um, quickly for those who don't know me, went to an undergrad in theater, went to work at the full-time job, realized did not have skills for the full-time job, went to grad school, gained skills, but also kind of realized that the industry that I was getting myself into was one that was never going to accept me as the person that I am. Um, and I couldn't really change that um, because I didn't really understand why it was happening to me. Um, but now I understand that it was happening to me because I am an autistic adhd -er, in addition to all the other diagnoses I've had, like, but this is like, you know, paid a lot of money for this, <laughs> this diagnosis. Um, yeah, it's the tism, you know. So yeah, who knows was me just like literally not knowing. It was literally called who knows because I literally didn't know what I was doing. All I knew was that I had found podcasting and realized that there was a fucking platform that was exclusively audio. And I was like, oh shit sounds good let's do it um and then I realized that it was like journalism <laughs> I was like oh like am I a journalist like should I be like this person that informs and like uses my platform to and no I'm I'm not that person I thought I was supposed to be that person I thought that that was the most desirable person um, and then could be the most respected person. And now I realize that I don't want to be respected for being a person that I'm not. I want to be, res I want to, I want whatever to happen to happen because I'm going through life being as happy as I possibly can. Um, right now I'm having an issue literally right now. I just said that and I'm like panicking, like thinking that I'm you know this is what and this is like what it was what it was like this is why I haven't done anything um and this is why this rebrand uh, sorry this is why this rebrand has been so messy um because it doesn't make any sense because nothing makes any sense but the real reality of the situation is that I want to be a creator and that's what I've always wanted and it didn't work out the way that I thought it would for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is because I didn't let myself do it because I thought that I wasn't allowed to because of a lot of misinformation in my life. Um, no, I'm just going to leave it at that. Because everything was out of love and everything was for the better. And everything was about the fact that like we did not know... We're not educated on what it's like to communicate as neurodivergent people, as a neurodivergent set of people in whatever way that is in my life. Because I have a lot of other people in my life that are also struggling, and I'm starting to see that now, and I'm realizing they're like, oh, I'm actually not these people's problem. Like, they have their own, <clears throat> excuse me, they have their own set of problems. Um, and they... Are dealing with them um, starting to have anxiety because I feel like I'm playing with my hair too much um, but I'm realizing that like this is just me and this is what this is gonna be like for a little while um, but like also it's not because like this is not what I want to do like this is the last of this like and I knew that I needed this like my autistic brain just needs this official like and now we are moving on into the next direction like that just has to be what it is um, and there'll be a lot more singing and dancing and being absolutely ridiculous, um, because that's how I express myself. Um, and yeah, I'm a fucking artsy fartsy person. That's what my dad calls me. Artsy fartsy. Um, even though he means well, he's an artsy fartsy fart head. Um, 
I'm going to be artsy fartsy. I'm going to be artsy and fartsy. Artsy and fartsy. Oh my gosh. Artsy and fartsy. That's what my podcast is going to be called. I'm actually serious because a lot of the time it's going to be with an artist because I love art. Um, and then it's going to be just artsy fartsy talk and but like also like fartsy talk like I don't know <laughs> artsy fartsy my dad will be happy that he contributed the the podcast? Kyle's here <laughs> yeah fartsy. you're fartsy when it's us and that's basically the best transition into the new content it's just us now man it's just you and me I just need somebody to talk to because he's not always there. He just happened to... Oh, Bam Margera is there. Boy, oh boy. We can talk about Bam Margera. He's a fartsy. <laughs> I loved him. Who didn't, right? Just kidding. I was a rat person. Sorry, Vanessa, for saying rat. Also, I'm going to shout out people in my YouTube videos that may or may not ever watch that. <laughs> just like people in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's only one person that you'll never know and it's my best friend in nebraska that's it the, my best friend in nebraska her husband and her baby my best friend in nebraska's husband my best friend in nebraska's baby those are them and then kyle you can know kyle and then you'll probably see nikki and Lindsay. yeah this is like this is what i've wanted to do honestly i just realized what's fucking crazy about this is that i have always wanted to start a daily vlog situation on May 1st. I think I'm just gonna try to do it. I don't know if I can do daily. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I maybe let's, okay, let's do an attainable goal. How about weekly? So we start once a week, you and me here, whatever time this posts or around that time, whatever, so it's, it's a Monday or what, no, tomorrow's Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesdays, my guys, my thys, my shays. Now I'm Australian, mate. I'm Australian too. <laughs> Tango, baby. Alligator. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you don't get the idea, then I can't explain it to you anymore. So there you go. <laughs> Artsy fartsies. Ear, ear. Uh, make this up. Okay, how it worked. <laughs>